Hey folks, what's cooking? K1GMM, Steve, the maniac from deep in the heart of the Green Mountains of the beautiful Green Mountain State, state of Vermont. I have an interesting thing. Uh, I was going to do a stream. I'll do a stream later on this. I erected, I put up an inverted L, 160 meter inverted L today, this morning. Uh, surprisingly simple antenna to put up. Uh, it is a quarter wave, quarter wave on 160 meters, uh, about, a, I think it's 136.5 feet. Um, I, the vertical section is exactly 60 feet. I have the vertical section at 60 feet. Uh, and the feed point is suspended about six feet off the ground. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, f I can do a radio field on it. Uh, what I'm looking at doing is a folded counterpoise setup. And uh, you can Google that, uh, type in, it's on YouTube, 160 meter uh, inverted L and it should pop right up there. It's called a folded counterpoise. But what I do have, which is really interesting, and what you're looking at right now is the inverted L on 80 meters, listening on 80. This thing is cracking. So what I have right now, I live on the valley floor, and the valley floor is full of water. So what I did was I took a wire, a 12-gauge piece of wire, brought it off the shield side of the feed point, soldered it to a copper rod and spank that into the brook next to the house. I'm probably going to do another one and put that in the spring, which is complete. That's on the south side. And the spring is actually about 50 feet away in the middle of the backyard. Thinking about getting a copper ground rod and, and, put, and taking a, a line and put it in there. My goal, I don't know if it's going to work. My goal is to basically couple the water basically the water table in this entire valley to the antenna um, so far so good with just that one rod in the brook which uh, flows oh it's about 80 feet um, comes off the mountain and uh, is flowing currently into otter creek and into the marsh which fills the entire valley here so uh, I don't have a drawing yet. I'll do a full mock-up right up on it, uh, but I'm going to test it first. And tonight I'm going to run some FT8 and see if I can get somebody on phone, uh, sideband phone, so on 160. Now, I have not tuned it. I haven't done anything to it. It's basically 136.5 feet of wire. Uh, it's cut exactly to a quarter wave on 160. I think I got the numbers right. Yeah, I do. And um, the vertical section is 60 feet. Now, the feed point I have, basically, I have eight ferrite beads at the feed point on the coax jacked directly in to an SO239 at the feed point. Center pin comes up, off, goes up to the vertical, goes up the vertical section. Uh, the vertical element comes off the center pin and then up to the angle at the top, the elbow, and then the horizontal section goes out from there. Um, and I swept it, and believe it or not, that sucker, it, it, there's a catch to this, though, I'll tell you. Uh, that sucker is a two-to-one across the entire 160-meter band, but that may not be a good thing. Uh, we're we're going to check that out and see, uh, but it's hearing surprisingly well <laughs> on 80 meters. I haven't tried it on 160. We'll give it a run. So let's give a listen to it. Uh, I'll I'll jump through a couple of the bands here, and uh, you can check out how it's hearing. Uh, this is the 80 meter band. So let me go ahead and bring that online. I'm so used to it. I don't even bother me, but I get people coming by, dropping stuff off, and they see those big carriers coming over with the wheels down. They look up, they go, oh man, is that thing going to crack? Oh, yeah, it's okay, 1KOA, I just opened a 1KOA, No, those guys have uh, drifted off. Well, 
We're going to start our uh, little New Year's celebration here within the, the next 30 minutes or so, <laughs> which is our routine. We're going to be home tonight. Uh, <coughs> D'appareil électronique, là, euh, mais euh, c'était quand même bien fait. Là, les gars, c'était des, euh, des passionnés, c'était des, des gars qui étaient, connaissaient leur métier. Là. Aujourd'hui, on se fit trop des faux appareils. Des fois, l'appareil peut être faux, puis... <laughs> Yeah, essentially, you can smell it. Jesus. You up near the Heine Winery? Not me. Yeah, no matter where you go, what state you live in, uh, there's people out there. Okay, uh, we'll make a jump. Let's go up to 40. And pardon the audio. Uh, I've got some problems with, I think it's a buffering issue. Uh, it has nothing to do with the antenna uh, or the software, but it's something to do with the audio buffering, guys. So bear with me. We'll make the jump to, uh, for some reason, it's not letting me jump. I'm stuck here. There are people, I'm connected to the spy server. So there are people connected, which is probably the reason why. Uh, it's too early. Sun's still way up in the in the sky uh, for 160, but I figured I'd show you guys that. Um, bring the audio back online. Thing has got some great ears, you know man. What? She's like the uh, management at work when I was working. The more they screwed up, the higher up the rank they pushed them. I was never in the service, so uh, I can't comment. Here's an AM station. Yeah, 90s, that thing's gonna be spinning on the highway. <clears throat> but I should. Uh... Come off the traffic lights, okay? When I was a kid, uh, a buddy of mine's dad had a um, a Ford pickup. It was early '60s, and it had a 392 in it. Whoa! <laughs> I think the server's getting crushed, you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and bump the latency. Let's go to, uh, I don't care about the latency, so let's go to 500 milliseconds. Um, see if that relieves some of the stress on the system here. <laughs> it raced it up the drags. And, and the worst part about it was you won a trophy for like a T, T stock or R stock or something. So he, didn't, so he had to, you know, hide the trophy at a friend's house because he couldn't bring it home. His father would kill him. So then he, then he got brave and uh, he went back again. <laughs> Raced it again. Won another trophy, but this time when he smacked second gear, he bent the shifter. So, you know, second gear was, uh, you know, getting close to being vertical. <laughs> uh, All right, we'll go back to sideband here. Oh man! Yeah, jump on lower side. But that, that was a the old 392. That must have come out after the. Uh... French Canadians. It's been a while since I played with it, and I, I know just barely enough to uh, to be dangerous and frustrated. <laughs> Ah, oh, but I'm glad it's, at least it came right up. But you might try, you got Chrome there on uh, on your lid. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it, man. Uh, we'll catch you on the stream. I may do a stream tonight. Um, I think I will do a stream tonight when I'm testing it. We'll see how we make out. Uh, we'll see you all later, 7-3. And Happy New Year. Happy uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, don't party too hard and behave yourselves. We'll catch you later. K1GMM.